Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, we are witnessing a historic moment in Tennessee. Never did I think I would sign on to a resolution brought by Representative Sparks. Back at you, brother. I'm just trying to bring some awareness to what I call the fatherless epidemic. And, uh, you know, you don't see much of this in the news, but we see the problems, the social problems, whether it's going back to school shootings, to violence and suicide. But if I can, Madam Speaker, if I could just quote a few stats real quick. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes, five times the average. 90% of all homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes, 32 times the national average. 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes, nine times the average. 75% of adolescent patients in chemical abuse centers come from fatherless homes, 10 times the average. 70% of use in state-operated institutions come from fatherless homes, nine times the average. And this is what's really important, members, if I can get your attention. Our prison budget is well over $1 billion. 85% of use in prison come from fatherless homes, 20 times the average. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Representative Sparks renews his motion. Discussion on the bill. Representative Wendell. Uh, Mr. Sponsor, I just want to thank you for your genuine concern for young Tennesseans. It's an extremely important issue, and I appreciate you bringing light on it. And I also want to point out today, once again, uh, General Max Haston and uh, Governor Bill Haslam had the foresight to establish uh, the uh, Tennessee Challenge Academy, and they're with us here today. And I appreciate you very much for bringing this very important thank issue you, to us. Thank you. Representative Parkinson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, we are witnessing a historic moment in Tennessee. Never did I think I would sign on to a resolution brought by Representative Sparks. Back at you, brother. I seconded, I seconded, your, I seconded but, your motion of the day. Remember that. But today, I'm signing on. All right. Thank we'll you, sign Representative Sparks. on to many more, sir. Representative Van Huss. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to thank Representative Sparks uh, for helping with this resolution. Well, we have... Uh, big problems obviously in our country today with everything that's going on and when you remove the moral backbone out of society society breaks down to every man doing what's right in his own eyes that's that's the definition of barbarism my father was saved after a chapel service at a public school in Johnson City Tennessee in the 1950s we have removed God from the schools we have trivialized through Hollywood and through entertainment we've trivialized the importance of family when the resolution says that we urge and encourage Tennessee elected officials uh, to help resolve these problems, it's very hard to legislate morality. And we have come a long way since boys used to bring their rifles to school to go squirrel hunting afterwards. And uh, so I, I think for this resolution, again, it's hard to legislate morality. Um, th th and so anyway, I'll just leave it at that, but thank you for bringing it. Representative Shaw. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I just want to commend your sponsor for this, and I notice it is urging, and, and, and I make this comment because I know most churches are already involved in doing this, and so I would ask you, are you asking us to do anything different from what we are already doing? Well, I think we can do more of it, sir. Just bring more attention to a serious issue. You know, um, just at the prayer breakfast of the day, at the governor's prayer breakfast, and Speaker Harwell done a great job, the girl sitting beside me, she said, yeah, I never knew my dad. Uh, somebody that works close with me, she didn't know her dad. Um, fortunately, most of us in here probably had a father in our life, and that's probably why you're here, from that encouragement and, uh, and that moral backbone that they many times had led you to. Thank you, sir. Representative Shaw. I don't think you directly answered my question. I, I hear what you're saying, and I, 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 I encourage you. I yes, thank sir. you for it. But I'm asking you, are you asking us to do anything any different from what we are already doing? Well, I'm really just looking for solutions. And, and um, John Mark Wendell made a good comment about General Max Haston and the governor looking at these young men. I think that's one, that's one idea. And like uh, Representative Mike Van Hus just mentioned, it's hard to legislate these issues. It's hard to legislate it. But we can implement policies that can encourage. Uh, sadly, many, many young men may not be in the church. You know, and the, and the church can't do all of it. And teachers 
many of them are female, they can't be fathers, you know, but a lot of them, there's a, there's a brokenness and there's no doubt. I think it's a serious issue that we need to address. And Parkinson and I talked about discipline last year. Um, I know a lot of folks don't like strong discipline in school. I do. I had my butt tore up by my principal and my school superintendent on many occasions. I know Parkinson did. No doubt Parkinson did, you know, but yeah, you hear me. But I just think this is something that we really need to look at. And going forward next year, it's not something that, that we could try to address. Representative Johnson, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I call previous question. Previous question has been called for. Is there objection? There is objection. We're on the board. Those in favor of previous question, vote aye when the bell rings. Those opposed, vote no. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change their vote? Mr. Clerk, take the vote. Oh, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Aye, uh, 69, 19 days. Previous question prevails. We're voting on Senate Joint Resolution, Resolution 108. Those in favor, vote aye when the bell rings. Those opposed, vote no. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change their vote? Mr. Clerk, take the vote. Ayes 94, no nays. Senate Joint Resolution 108, having received a constitutional majority, hereby declare concurred in. Without objection, motion reconsider is table. Next bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. House Bill 1818 by Representative Hawk Castor.